How are you today? Today I'm gonna go over the uh, the pouch directions for uh, ANHC's uh, programming. Uh, I, I made some directions here that are pretty easy to follow. I added some Blackfeet words, Nitsipo Watson words, so that, that you can uh, just kind of think about. Uh, if you're doing language or anything, you can add it to your, as you're doing this. So, uh, a lot of times we just, we just use these pouches, you know, um, we add protection, protection for them. But, uh, I, I got this, I got this, a protection, you know, you put your tobacco in there or, or whatever you feel that you need that uh, will help you, will protect you from anything bad that comes towards you. So. I'm just gonna give you a quick example of, you know, like this is one I made a while back. It's uh, it's real simple. You know, I got my aniskim in there. This aniskim is a is a uh, it's a buffalo rock. You know, it's kind of shaped like a buffalo. But it, that's my protection right there. You know, that's my good luck. It's an old fossil that was left on the plains and today, you know, in the modern times, we use these as a, as links to that old time, you know, it's just, uh, it's, they're still here just like us. So, you know, I, I keep it in this pouch. I got some uh, buffalo hair in there and you can see this is kind of what we're making today. And it's up to you anyway, you can, uh, if you already know how to make them, you know, to your preference, it's all up to you. But for the beginners, this is directions and uh, just a common way to, to kind of do this. This this in this skim is actually pretty big for for uh, for an aniskim. <laughs> but that's all it is. I just tied the I just stitched the tie right on the side of it. And it's just able to crimp the top. Put a loop in it, and it holds it in place. You know, I don't, I don't carry this around my neck. If I, if I feel I need it, I just throw it in my pocket. You know, and I just carry it that way. And uh, it's usually on my, where I smudge and stuff, because I smudge this as well in the morning. That's my niskum. But here's the directions. Uh, I'll, there'll be a better view of it. But the contents, you should have a piece of hide. And that's that's right here the contents hide itawansa 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 the hide so it is smoked deer hide it's like a darker color um, shoelace we have the leather shoelace it's uh it should be enough to go around your neck and at least fall to maybe mid mid chest or they're all cut uh you can shorten them lengthen them it's up to you i probably should, can't lengthen them but uh needle make sure you get a good sturdy needle you should have a needle in there uh i just found this one i did out of my needles looks pretty sturdy hopefully i'll go through the letter leather uh thread we use the vinyl thread you know some of you if you want you use sinew but uh, it's really hard to get that full piece of sinew through this, through this, uh, through the needle. So what you do is you, you split it, split your sinew, and take it apart. So you have a small piece that'll fit through there. It's it's strong, so it'll work. Uh, scissors. Make sure you have a good pair of scissors. Um, one thing uh, I don't know if you're gonna get in a kit is a little pair of. Uh, pliers you know when I'm doing leather work I hate to beat up my hands because you as you can see I, I got a lot of 
poles just from doing leather work and stuff like that. You know, your hands do get beat up. You're going to poke yourself with that needle a few times. But, you know, in the end, it's all worth it. So that's what you'll need. So to begin, we're going to jump right into this. We're going to thread the needle. So threading the needle, I usually just do a do an arm's length. So just bring your bring your thread out. It doesn't matter right there. Grab it. Pull enough. So it's just going to be in half. That's all I did was half in it. Cut. Now the hard part. I'm trying to thread this needle. Let's see if I can get it one shot. Yes. If you have trouble threading your needle, I'm not sure what kind of needles we'll have in the kits. Um, you can you can actually take one end, angle it, and cut it. It'll make a sharp like a sharp end, and that way you'll uh, you'll be able to get it through there easier. So make sure the needle's on the thread. Needle on the thread. At the end, all you can do is your basic loop. Just make a circle and go through. Go through the middle. Move your knot towards the end, and that's all it is. We want to do a couple of them. Make sure they overlap on top of each other. So I'm doing that one. I'm just going right above it. So it just becomes bigger. I'll do one more just, just to hold it. This is what stops your thread from going through the, the material. So pretty good hole. You know, you can trim the end if you want. I'm just going to trim it a little bit because usually when you work, it, it starts pulling pulling a little bit. So, let's see, it gets smaller. You know, a lot of people use wax. I just like to run it through. Do a little bit of spit on there, I guess. Okay, so next, next, uh, next one is thread the needle, elbow length thread. You want to look at your your material what side do you want out so if you want the rough side out you're going to put that on the inside when you fold it but if you want the smooth side out you want the rough side out when you fold it when you start so for me i'm going to go with the rough side or the i want the uh smooth side out so i'm leaving the rough side out and i'm folding it so that's where we get this fold here but there's another Stepping back, we want to look at this this here. I got this little thing, um, you know, we want to add holes for the, the lace to go through. And these are just measurements. You don't have to, um, I usually don't go off of a, um, you know, a measurement. Uh, what I do is I just line it up and I just try to, I'm going to add a little uh, taper to the end. So all I'm going to do is just find a little piece and we'll come down a little bit. I'm actually cutting both at the same time. It doesn't have to be perfect. Remember a long time ago we didn't have rulers or anything like that. I'm just adding a small taper. Just put your sides together like this. You know, try to make it even the way you did the other side. Just give it a taper. So these are just cut off ends, so that's what it's gonna that's how it looks now. It just has a small taper to it. This is optional. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. So that's this piece here. The dotted lines are the cut pieces. And that's what I did. Um, you can do these, um, your slots for your your um, lace as well. What you want to do is you just, I'm a, I want mine to be in between where this is and where I made that cut. Where this and that cut's made. So I'm going to fold this actually right in half to where that cut is. See that where it tapers? So it's just going in half. And all I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna go all the way to the top of that because I need that. So I'm just gonna put a little slight slit in there. Same thing with this side. Little slit, that's all it is. So same thing, other side, fold. Fold till you hit that taper. Oh, I don't have to be far out. Just, you know, give it a little slice. Just something you can get your. Be careful now. We don't want you to cut the whole leather. So you, if you go too far up, it's going to be too weak. 
So maybe about there, you know, that's pretty good right there. And that's all that is. So fold the leather right here, fold the leather like this. I want the smooth side out, so I'm putting it inside. Smooth side out. And that's the way it should look, just like that. So, so now we're gonna start, all we're gonna do is stitch one side. Start with the right, left. It's up to you how you wanna do it. Whatever is comfortable for you, you can start below or you can start above. Me, I like to work this way, uh, through and over, through and over. So what I'm gonna do is just right at the end here, don't matter if there's, I wanna go in about an eighth of an inch. If you don't know what an eighth of an inch is, just uh, bring it in a little bit anyway. So you have something to grab onto. So the needle has something to grab onto. So, you know, needles are slippery. That's why I like these little pliers. Uh, I got mine at Harbor Freight. They're, they're pretty cheap and expensive. But right there, all you can do is go round and round. So if you start it on that one side, just keep going. But each time you wanna to move towards the top. So it's kind of like a coil or a spring. So you just wanna snug it up. Just give it a little snug. You don't have to pull it tight. And that's all you want, to close it up. So each time you just move over and go through. So just like that, and we'll just keep moving up. I'm gonna, uh, for time's sake, I'm just gonna move up a ways. But, you know, you guys are doing this, you have time. Take your time and, uh, you know, make it, make it, uh, give it a good stitch. You know, you kind of probably want to be closer. You want to have closer stitch. I'm just, I'm just doing mine for presentation and uh, and uh, time sake because I'm uh, making a video and I don't want it too long. You guys get the idea here. So, um, yeah, just keep going, keep going, keep going. Stitch it up. If you want a good tight stitch, you know, I would just move over like a, about the the depth of your stitch there, you know, like an eighth. Just move over ever so slightly if you, you know, if you want. Just it gives it a nice clean look on the other side, and you know, it'll 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 probably last longer because you you're uh, you're connecting it all, and it's a uh, got a good stitch on it so you know anything quality made usually is uh is made well with you know a stitch a good stitch so mine's lazy right here I'm just kind of going through so that's all you can do keep stitching stitch 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 And this goes with any, you know, you can make these any size. They don't just have to be this size. This is what, I had the material we had. I just tried to make, make up a bunch of, uh, as much as we could, pouch uh, pieces that we, uh, that we can kick out to clients and, uh, you know, people that want to do this. So, you know, you can make huge ones if you want a huge pouch you know I'm not sure what they're called in other languages but you know and you kind of always see people you know usually they don't like to take them off as well because they're uh, you know that's their protection and that's that's what they believe will, will uh, bring them good luck and protection against anything bad you know a lot of people talk about 
bad things, you know, bad thoughts or whatever. Well, uh, that's what these protections for, you know, your tobacco. Maybe you'll need it one day where you, you need to just set it out. So, you know, you could just reach in there and grab your tobacco and give it out. Or maybe you just have a keepsake that you want, want to keep. So this is the important part right here at the end. Make sure you um, make sure you uh, go through this a couple times. My dog, having all kinds of fun. Nitomi Tom, my dog. Her name is Matsuwaki. Pretty woman. So you just want to go through, you could hit the same hole if you want. Just pull it through. And when you get to the that second one, you just leave that hole there and come up through it. Pull it tight. And maybe just pick a little bit of your thread there, go through it again. Leave that little gap hole so you can go through it. Pull it tight. That's all it is. That's your stitch right there. That's how you tie it off. Leave a little tail. If you, if you want, you could add a little, uh, put a little flame to it and it'll this will melt together. So once you get this side stitched, you know, then you just turn it inside out. You gotta, it's gonna be kind of a little bit hard. You'll turn it inside out. You know, push your corner out. And that's how your stitch is gonna, it's gonna look, it'll look cleaner yours, you know, cause you'll probably be tighter stitched, you know. I mean the width, you know. Don't go as far as mine, mine's pretty wide. I was just trying to show you through uh, um, kind of how to do it. So we'll do this other side real quick and I'm just gonna use what thread I have left. Same thing, even it out, circle, go through it, scoot it towards the end, pull it tight. Do it a couple times so it just so uh, it's bigger than your needle. That way it doesn't go through the uh, the protrusion that the needle made. So leave that little tail, even it all up. Start from the bottom, wherever you. However you want to do it, if you go like to come over and un, or, uh, through and back on top, that's your preference. Because I know a lot of people left right-handed, you know, this is the way I like to work. I like to go over and through. So same thing with this one. I'm just going to speed through this just so you guys get the general idea. You know, I'll make some big stitches here. Make sure yours are a little bit tighter. You know, I'm just doing this for time's sake, like I said. And I'll zoom through this real quick and then we'll we'll take a look at it. I always do beading and stuff like that. I, I it really uh it helps me, you know, with anxiety and uh, you know maybe depression and I don't know if I you know you get different feelings every day, different things going on. You know, I, I, this really helps me. Uh, it's medicine itself. You know, making things and giving them away and. I guess it's just that, uh, I'm not sure what you'd call the, uh, you know, the hands-on skill, you know, using your hands and just keeping my mind on, uh, you know, where do I want my stitch? Where do I want, you know, and it's never, you know, none of this stuff is just you know, what you put into it is what you get out of it. Um, 
It's just like anything else. Practice, practice, practice. Uh, I hope these directions work for you. You know, I, I just tried to give a quick illustration of uh, of how I would see it, I guess. <laughs> Whatever was in my mind, I just tried to put it on that paper, so. Um, you know, and you see a lot of people with these, you know, people keep them hidden or whatever. And, you know, it's kind of their own, it's your own thought that goes into these these pieces like this that you know whatever you're gonna carry in there um you know it's it's for you you know I don't see a lot of people you know just jerking them out and showing them off you know it's usually kept to themselves that they uh they use it the way they want to you know whatever's in there So here's the end. I'm just gonna go go around it a few times, just so it, uh, this is gonna have a lot of pressure because you're gonna, you know, be opening and closing it. So make sure you put put a couple stitches around there, just so it holds tight and holds the the hide together. And, uh, gives you what you need for for years of use when you when you're adding or you know using the whatever you put in there. So, same thing, I just left that low. I'm gonna go through it. Pull it tight, leaves a little knot, but I also wanna go grab a little bit of this thread right here somewhere. Same thing, go through it. That's gonna be our knot right there. Pull it a little bit tight, snug it up. You don't gotta break it. Leave a little tail, you know. Put a little, put a lighter to it, uh, and it'll, uh, Fix, fix some of those ends. So this is our diagram. This is the way you wanna, you know, you want your your uh, your stitches to be pretty close together, not not too close, but you know, you want that strength added to it. So that's the way I did it. I went round, 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 work my way up like a spring. I said like a coil. So go through two times at the end, and that, then tie it off. So that's what I did there at the end. So that's where we get this. And, uh, next you know we're gonna turn it inside out so this is this is it right here so you want to just kick this through and you want to push the rest of it so it uh, turns inside out You know, kind of, kind of be gentle, but yours should be good if you added enough stitches. It won't, shouldn't come apart. You know, just run your finger along where you stitched. See how it pushes it out. So see that that's stuck in there. Just run your finger in there. Push, push that corner out, and run your finger back up it, or run it off your finger, like that. That's gonna stretch your stitch out. So this is what we're looking like. So that's what we want to be you know if you didn't cut if you didn't taper the edges that's what you look like if you tapered them that's what you look like so your stitch is pretty hidden you know it's yours will be tighter mine was just for time's sake so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the lace and we're gonna feed it through you know decide which one's your front and your back So this lace is actually pretty long, so, you know. You can even add a tie in there if you want to, so you can close it up better. But this is just gonna hold your uh, your piece. So. You know, you can even tie these together, or you can stitch them together. It's up to you. Um, do what you want. Or you could just tie a knot in there. Well, what I did wrong right here, I or it might not be wrong. It might just work as I uh, I made might have made these too small or too big. See how I made that too big right there. 
So you might have to add another stitch to it. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm just going to add two more in there, but not so big. So I'm just going to fold it in half again. I'm just going to try to cut a small one just inside that so we could. You know, these are just little alterations that come along when you're. You could use a hole punch too, if you have a hole punch, you know, that would be a, a cleaner look. It'd probably be more precise too, but, you know, just, I'm just, back in the day, I don't, we didn't have hole punches and, you know, things just came out the way they're supposed to come out. If it serves its purpose, it's all good. So, see, I made that hole a little bit smaller. You can always add your, uh, like uh, like mine, you know, I add this little piece on there. You can run that through those holes, you know. It doesn't have to be, it's all up to you. So I'm just gonna tie this knot here. Try to get it towards the end there. Tighten it up. And go there. You know, it could be front and back, whatever you want. Let's see here. Get it through there. Get it through the smaller hole. Yeah, if you have extra scrap leather or whatever, just run it through there. That way you could tie it up real good and um, all your your good medicine won't fall out of there. Your good tobacco or sage sweetgrass so there you go that is your pouch so remember you can add that little piece around there to tie it up you know make it smaller it'll hold Whatever. You can even cut it down if you need to. Cut it down to size and, uh, you know, if you want to wear it this way or that way, it's up to you. And that is your pouch making class, your pouch making session you know you can uh, you, uh be creative you know i added these things if you want to beat it beat it when it's in this stage beforehand just make sure you um maybe mark your middle so you know what's top and bottom so your design on each side is the same or what side ever what side you're gonna have out is is uh your design will show and it won't go all the way under if you want it to go all the way under it's up to you you know you can beat this whole thing and fold it um, beat it you can paint it you know it's your own style you know this lace too it's all it's optional that's what we got for for these kits but you can uh, use uh the actual leather if you have leather or any more uh these ones i cut up everything into these strips so everybody can get a pouch part so we don't have that extra to add to these uh these um For these kits so we just use the uh, shoelace the leather shoelace uh, I'll get them on boots a lot of this stuff we got at hide and soul here in town Missoula so you can go down there they they have a bargain bin you know if you want to check out some of their leather um, but it came out really good I like this the color of this leather you know it's, it's pretty sturdy it's nice it stretches you know over time it's really gonna look have a nice look to it as you as you put wear to it you know, if you ever see things that are old and uh, they wear, this is what something that's going to wear real nice. So, all right. If you have any questions, just let me know and then uh, we'll get back to you and let you know. But thank you for uh, uh, following my instruction and making your own pouch. Have a wonderful day.